Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I built home workout equipment that has taken my resistance band training to a whole new level. I used to be skeptical that resistance bands could serve as a tool for full body workouts, but then a literature review came out last year which showed that elastic resistance training was as effective at building muscular strength as traditional resistance training using weights. And now since making this platform, I've become convinced that one can gain a lot of strength from resistance band workouts. However, as a sports scientist, I can attest that training exclusively with resistance bands cannot help you lift half a ton in the deadlift like Eddie Hall or Thor. That's because there are specific types or degrees of strength that require specialized methods of training. Nevertheless, what this new research on elastic resistance training shows is that for general purposes, rubber bands can in fact be used to successfully build strength. This is exciting because with everything that has been going on during the COVID-19 pandemic, there has never been more need for alternative ways to make strength training cheap and accessible for people. If you'd like to learn more about the science behind resistance band training, its pros and cons, as well as the best ways to incorporate rubber bands into your exercise routine for specific purposes, then comment below specifically requesting that we make that video. Also, please consider dropping us a like so that we know to continue producing content like this in the future. So there are a wide variety of resistance bands out there for workout purposes. Personally, I like the loop design, which over the past few years has become probably the most popular type of resistance band due to its versatility and wide range of resistance strengths. Links can be found down below in the description. Now, there are two main ways of anchoring resistance bands for various workouts. The first is using a door mount or fixing to an upright support. This method is great for any type of upper body pulling or pushing exercises. However, it's limited compared to the second anchoring method, which is to just stand on the bands and use the weight of your body to anchor it. This method opens up many possibilities for getting the legs involved and really working on that full body lifting strength. However, I found that the downside to this is that I can't comfortably exercise barefoot, which is how I like to train. When I do wear shoes, I'm always thrown off balance, especially with the thicker bands. Furthermore, when using this method, I'm unable to incorporate any resistance jumps into my training because lifting my feet from the ground would mean that the rubber bands would no longer have anything to anchor them down, which defeats the purpose of having accommodated resistance. It's these limitations that sparked the idea of the resistance band platform. So let's first run through what this platform can do, then I'll dive into how it's made so that you can build one for your own home gym. I actually have two versions of the platform. The first is a very basic version, which is cheap and easy to make. The second version is a lot pricier, but can be customized and made to look really cool. I've received a lot of positive feedback from visitors who've seen our version with Exercising Health's branding on it. Furthermore, I've incorporated it into the world's first modular weightlifting platform, which we built in our previous video. Anyways, this resistance band trainer is designed using a flat rectangular base that you can stand on. It has hooks on all four corners to attach any strength resistance bands onto it. So I can attach multiple rubber bands to the platform, which are anchored away from our feet. This eliminates any of the inconveniences and restrictions of standing on them, as mentioned earlier. Furthermore, it really opens up a much wider variety of lifting options to choose from. Here is a quick montage of some of my favorite exercises to do with our lifting platform.
There are literally dozens more. Over the next few weeks, we'll be putting together a detailed ebook of all the best resistance band exercises you can do for specific purposes and exercise goals. The book will also include tutorials on how to do them properly. Once it's live, we'll drop links to it down below. All right, now for the build. The simple version of this resistance band trainer can be made for well under $30. Start with a piece of OSB or plywood board and four wooden planks of the same length. These planks must be attached under the board to help stiffen the structure and prevent excessive bending of the platform when there is a lot of band resistance pulling on either end. Then it's as simple as screwing in the eye hooks on all four corners and attaching carabiners to the hooks which will hold the resistance bands. The premium version of this platform functions in the same way as the budget version. It is obviously just a little bit more complicated to build, but it is way more attractive as a final product. To complete this build, I laminated two sheets of OSB together. I then got a local signage shop to print our design on some heavy duty vinyl and aluminium. Because the Exercising Health branded facade was prone to scuffs and scratches, I decided to protect it with a sheet of plexiglass. To dress up the corners and hold the top layers together, black 90 degree angled PVC was attached all around the borders on both sides until I got this beautiful covering on all the outer edges of the platform. Finally, the eye hooks had to be carefully screwed into place and the same carabiner clips were attached to the hooks as shown in the other build. While this was a brief summary of how these resistance band trainers were made, we actually went through a few iterations of these builds, making a lot of mistakes along the way. So what my team and I have done is create a beautifully illustrated ebook with all the detailed steps and designs, as well as the tips and tricks you'll need to successfully build this exercise device without making any costly mistakes. This ebook can be purchased through our website, link down below. And there you have it folks, a full body resistance band trainer that is both affordable and effective for building strength and getting a great workout in at home. Anyways, thanks for watching another episode of Health Science Made Simple. I'm your host Christopher, until next time, cheers.